This is a demonstration of one of the new capabilities for feature templates in the June 2023 release of NX. Uh, I want to show the ability to sh uh, start using feature templates as a modular part of a product template. This is pretty exciting. This little uh, design here, a little six bar clamp from a, a factory that I, I w used to work in years ago. <laughs> and... Uh, doing some equipment design and I sketched this on a piece of paper back then because it looked really cool and I liked the way that there was a little over center uh, toggle in the clamp right here right if we move this right here we can see kind of the function of this go ahead and load these there we go and uh, you'll notice right in here that this this uh, these three here come in line go a little over center there as, as it clamps closed, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I like this design. I sketched it down on a piece of paper uh, many, many years ago and then uh, modeled it in NX uh, many years ago as well. Uh, anyway, the, the bracket in here in this uh, this thing is a, uh, a standard kind of design, right? And uh, and I've created it here as a, as a product template. And... Um, product template, of course, is going to be wrapping the entire part uh, with the user interface. So in the assembly navigator, we'll see a little indicator that this part is a product template. And that gives us this edit reusable component, an ability to launch a, a small UI here that drives this particular bracket. The, the top level expressions on here, of course, are driving the basic size of this thing. So there's a floor length that's kind of a on the bottom uh, leg and a rise length that the, that's this one. And, and of course, if we make these um, really small, for instance, this will make a short stubby bracket or we can make a, a big tall one <laughs> and so forth. Um, but the purpose, of course, is to, to get a, a mounting surface on the bottom of a, of a tooling plate and then a mounting surface up here to, to hold the clamp uh, in place. And, um, and so as we do that, we've got a bolt pattern uh, on the top and the bottom, right? Now, in this product template, we could add a bunch of UI, and historically we probably would have, to uh, to describe these bolt patterns uh, on the top and the bottom, right? And you'll notice here that rather than creating a whole bunch of UI, we've got one little button for each of these patterns right here, right? And the cool thing we're able to do now in this latest release is to use a feature template for this pattern. And uh, you'll notice in this part that there are uh, these two guys at the end. These are feature templates down here. And as we edit those feature templates, of course, we have an interface, uh, similar user interface, that's the, a whole pattern, right? And we've got two of those in here. It's the same object in there twice. And uh, and this feature pattern, or sorry, whole pattern, <laughs> is a feature template. And we've got some standard sizes for those patterns out there. Uh, we've got things, some options down here to choose the size of the, the, the fasteners that are involved and, uh, and then do things like include those counter bores up there or not uh, as we do the pattern, include those lo locating pin holes. We'll have some very precise locating pin holes that, that position stuff and then bolts that clamp uh, hold it together, right? Um, but anyway, we can choose, choose how we want to configure that whole pattern uh, in the feature. Um, but the beauty is that now we can start to reuse those, uh, in particular the user interface for those, in the context of the part. And so we can, when we're creating our product template, we can add those features to our interface here. And, and similarly, when we go and, and poke here, we'll get that exact same dialog, right? We can come in and make changes here to the, uh, for instance, leave off the counter bores here, <laughs> right? And uh, and make changes to that feature directly from the context of our product template. And as we make that change, of course, and, and say, okay, we come back here to the product template. And similarly, on the floor, if we want to come down and say, uh, on this guy, we want to say, move, remove the locating pin holes and the counter bores just for fun, and maybe make this an M5 instead of an M8, right? So smaller diameter holes, uh, then we can see that kind of change right away. And again, it brings us right back to our our, uh, our product template interface when we get back. Okay, we've wanted to do this for many years, <laughs> actually, and with the new common architecture for feature templates and product templates, now we can uh, we can now do this finally and do this quite easily. Okay, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to show you here. Again, we're able to reuse uh, feature templates now in the context of product templates, and I hope you find that useful.